right hey everybody so you have a tail you have like um a cylindrical object a cylindrical mesh that you want to uh you topo uh this is how i do it and i thought this would be helpful so um gonna hold shift a and add a cylinder with no cap and you could set it to the number of vertices you want you know depending on how low you want it i'm just going to scale it down with s and move it in i want to place it inside the um, target mesh so as i place this I'm going to head to wireframe and just place it inside and then i'm going to duplicate it and the thing is i'm placing it at the bends so blender could handle the rest um, later and i was filling in the um the parts in between so basically where the mesh changes direction or yeah when it changes direction and shape you know i'll place a cylinder there or you could place whatever mesh you have added in so just going in adding at the bends and we're going to come here to the top and i'll check the sides and place it inside the mesh so I'm just clicking and dragging and placing it inside. And once I'm done, I'll go back to solid view. I'll add the shrink wrap modifier. So add modifier, deform, shrink wrap, and just uh, use the eyedropper and select this. So you see very easily, it's um, con that's conformed to uh, the mesh I'm going to apply this cage now i'll just select double click the boundary loops and uh, control e bridge the edge loops and increase the number of cuts so right away and see that it's uh conforming to the mesh i'll do it again for the rests and uh, you could increase the cuts depending on what you are working on of course so going to double click Control E, bridge edge loops, and just increase the number of cuts. Uh, do it here. Um, control E, bridge edge loops, and increase the number of cuts. So, this is a um, quick way to uh, get a low poly version of uh, these kind of meshes. This is how I like to do it. So, uh, this was an actual, um, uh, you know, game ready mesh or that kind of thing I'll, I'm working on. I'll have capped the ends. So I could change this to project and just change it to outside surface. So just to snap to the ends over there. And that's it. Could uh, select all and smooth the. Um, vertices if they look a, li a little bit jagged so uh, do that as you like and come back just pull that down and I'm going to apply this control A so you see the difference and I'll just take it to the side and set the wireframe overlay so you can see this is how I do it. This is how I like to do it. Uh, this is the high poly over here and this is the low poly. So, I hope this was helpful. And let me know if you like um, tips like this so I could continue um, sharing more that I, um, that I know. So, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.